Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So we're heading into a new trading week. It's going to get interesting. We want to talk a little bit about the lower degree wave count here for Bitcoin. I don't want to spend too much time explaining the other scenarios. Uh, it's been a long day and I just want to do a quick video after the daily candle close to keep you updated and make you aware of the latest updates because so far no update. <laughs> well, no, that's wrong. No, there is an update, but we want to talk about um, the lower degree wave count here quickly because it starts to look like we're developing a triangle now. That would be good. That would be good, honestly. I mean, um, we talked in the previous video about this could have been a five wave move up off the weekend low, yeah? Five up, three down. I highlighted my concerns about this ABC structure, but it's a valid ABC structure. It's wave two. Again, just to repeat quickly, ABC, um, it is a running flat which unfolded here. Now, a wave two running flat happens rarely. And it's a sideways correction. We covered that topic today in the member live stream. Now, of course, it's a valid one. Um, the thing is, if the wave two is sideways, you would expect this wave four here to be sharp. We'll see. We're not there yet. Yeah. Um, but that's not an ideal structure. I'm always looking for ideal structures. You know, these are the small things I'm picking up. Um, but anyway, um, it's a five wave move up, three waves down. So it's valid. We're looking now for a third wave to the upside, and that is a valid count as long as we're holding the 21, uh, 23,140 level. This wave too low. Against that, we can focus on higher, okay? Um, so it looks like we've done a wave one, we've done a wave two. And bear in mind, everything I tell you here is still, it's very early days in a possible trend reversal. I mean, if this is going to follow through, this move can take Bitcoin to, to 29K plus. Um, but it's very early days. It is not evidence enough that we have really bottomed, but we're exploring the potential. And at the moment, you know, we have to assume it um, because we are starting to move up impulsively and we've left our reversal area, okay? Our trend reversal area, which was the yellow one here. So that's what we've been talking about on the weekend, that the primary expectation for now would be that we are turning around here and that the alternative is that the entire move of the November uh, lowest has finished. Now, of course, this is nice and a good start to the new week, but it's not enough yet to really confirm that it's still a risk that we break down. And if we break below 23,140, then we start at, um, then we start from square one. And basically it could even lead to a bearish outcome. Yeah. But we will take it level by level. The key is now that you need to know that as long as we're holding above 23,140, we can actually focus on higher. Um, now, okay. Wave one, two done. Wave three could be unfolding now. The wave three should reach, again, just a reminder from what we said in the last video, the wave three should reach roughly the 24,000 level, yeah, 24,040 here. Um, that's also where we have the um, pre previous B wave high. So ideally it would get there. Then we should get a four and a five. And only then we have a five wave move up, a proper five wave move up. And with, ever fi with every five wave move up, you increase basically probabilities that we have bottomed. So looking then at this third wave, which is unfolding. Yeah. Best I can tell at the moment, and that would be a bullish interpretation. Now, bear in mind, this is micro counting and so on. The bullish interpretation would be that this was a wave one. This was a wave two. This is a wave three. This here could become a wave four and we move up in a wave five of three. And then again, that wave four and that five. So this could still be a fourth wave. You might ask why. Um, I'm, I'm very honest with you. It's not healthy. There's strong sell off. It's not healthy. And I would not want to count this as the end of the fourth wave. But I'm exploring the idea we could be the, if we now make a higher low, but only if we now make a higher low, then I'm exploring the idea if this wave four, because it's a wave four could become a triangle. Now that's speculation at this stage. Oops. But I'm giving you ideas here how things could be unfolding yeah? um, and which levels to watch. Now, normally I wouldn't count anything away for that retraced more than the 50% retracement here, 23,415. I mean, it came down to 23,326. However, think a step ahead. If this is going to be a triangle, you're going to see here probably something like this, an A wave, a B wave, a C wave, a D wave, and an E wave. And the E wave, that's the important thing because that is the end of the wave four. The E wave should not end lower than the 50% retracement. That the A wave end, um, finished below, that's not a major problem that can happen. And even the fact that 
the A wave briefly cut into the wave one price region here on Coinbase. Not a problem. Uh, first of all, it was really just a touch. No, oh, it might, it actually avoided it. But even had it done it, um, you can make a case that it's actually the end of the pattern that counts. So this could become an elite wave triangle. That would be bullish and it could reach higher in the fifth wave of the third. <clears throat> but the condition really is we need to stay above that A wave low. Yeah, I mean, I told you we need to stay above 23,140, but actually for this pattern to work out, it needs to stay above the A wave low and that's at 23,328. So that's what you need to watch out for. Uh, don't really want to make the video any longer. That's sort of the idea I have could become an, uh, a triangle um, and it might actually do that higher low now. It would be amazing when we see a D wave high, an E wave low, and then we could rally maybe tomorrow higher. We'll see. It's too early for that. Um, but so far it's looking at least s somewhat promising. Okay, that's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.